Hi guys, I want to explain a very important concept in MATLAB that is called lookup table. I'm going to use a 2D, 1D is very simple. I'm going to use a 2D to explain some concepts here. And you can see there's uh, these uh, two situations happening for us to get an output. Um, maybe you, you are applying a brake pedal you want to maybe break the car but now the torque that you get is dependent on the temperature of the brake linings maybe and also how much have you pressed the the pedal let me use uh, let me use excel here to illustrate assume the brake position here is at 20 let me assume it is here assume now i have already pressed my brake um, at 20 and these values here are the torque the torques i can get these are the possible torque i can get here these are the templates here the reason are here these are templates at 20 I can have different temperatures, maybe 300 to 420. It, it looks one at 20 position. If I'm at 360, I get 1800. If I'm at 390, I get 1900. I'm just checking two conditions. This one is the first input. Then if it is that here, it now checks the second input if it is 420 it provides 2050 that is how the lookup table for 2d functions also 3d 3d also the same thing maybe you have another parameter here maybe you are looking i'm at 20 at 360 maybe i'm here let me color this uh, maybe i'm here then another condition for the condition that meets this one then get selected you can go up to 10d 5d depending on the application okay let's model this one for you not to use to look up to uh, 2d lookup table you go to library simulink lookup tables you have 1d 2d 1d is the simplest one 1d is like if I'm 10, if I'm if the brake pedal position is 10, the torque is this value. Maybe the torque is 30. If I'm at 40, the torque is 420. It is direct, it is directly proportional to where you are. But 2D is uh, you can see now you have ND lookup table, you can have even 50D conditions. You select this this one a 2D lookup table. Uh, then I want to provide a constant here. Constant like this, and another constant here, like that. These are the, these are the constants that um that will be having whereby I'll be they are basically these are my inputs here. This one is the input. This one is uh, input 1 uh, and input input 2. These are you provide two inputs, then you get an output. Let me use a display to display the input here, output like that. This one is uh, output and this input and out, input and outputs you have to define them inside the lookup table these ones are the breakpoints one and the breakpoints two those are the inputs while the the table data is output you can see you have an example here if you provide one to three as the first input 
and second input in the value from 1 to D, then the output gets selected from here. Okay, for example, if I provide 1 and 2 here, if I run this, I'm getting 5. Okay, why am I getting 5? 1, I've used 1, it uses the first one. You can see the first data is 4, 5, 6, first data. 1, 2, 3, this 1, 2, 3 means 1, 2, 3. Okay, 1 means first data. 2 means second data. Second data that is 69 and 20. 3 means 10, 18 and 20. If I use 3, let's see what happens. If I use 3 here to define the first data set, I'm using 3. I'm getting an, I'm getting 18 because I'm using 3 and 2. 1, 2, 3, the third data. First data, second data here, third data at 18. If I go, let me first go to MATLAB. Just to explain something here. 1, add full to 5 like that means 1, 2, to 5. If I put 1, 2, and to 10, this means count from 1 to 10, but increment by 2. I get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. I don't get 10 because you have to increment. Remember the first data I'm providing here is, let me assume A equals 1 to 5. Basically, let me use the actual example, the one I've used here. I have a brick pedal position and temperatures. I've defined them here. I've defined brick pedal position and a brick pedal temperatures here. If let me let me use this value to see what is there. That is my brick pedal position. It is either zero. 10, 20, 30, and 40. This data is I just imported from Excel. Okay, you can do some research on how to import data from Excel to MATLAB. Then, if you do this one, control copy, control paste, I'm getting brick pedal position. I want to see if I'm at 30, then I select pedal temperature to be during 30. I should get what? I go back here. Let me copy this. And paste it here. Um, I have this matrix here. That is, uh, if you want to know the size of this matrix, you just do like this, size of that. It is 5 by 5. It is a 5 by 5 because I'm providing first data 5 for the first 5 second data they must be 5 for the second 5 okay if i select brick pedal position if i use 20 or let me use if i use 30 that is on the fourth row it goes to the fourth row first second third fourth this is the fourth row because i'm selecting 30 it go to the fourth row if now i go to the second condition and select the 30 here on the fourth row it if i select the 30 it is the second row therefore it corresponds to the second column therefore the first one is for the row the second one is for the column and you can see we are getting 1850 if I use 30 and 3 30, I should get 1850. Let's go here. I use 30, fine, and 3 30. Run. I'm getting 1850 because the first data defines the first, defines the row if i select 30 it will go to the fourth row of your data 
The second data input defines now the position in the column that is 1850. That's how you use a VLOOKUP table. If you want to put these images, you just right click here, right click on where you want to put an image. Let me just copy the name and just edit this name here. Okay, just right click here. You go to the mask, you say create mask. You want what? I want uh, an image. How do you get an image? You use a command im read. Im read an image by the name. The name of the image you copy paste here. If you save your image by name B, you have to use name B dot PNG. If you and you have to use PNG. If it is a JPEG, you have to say dot JPEG. Then like that. Okay. Then say apply. That's how you put images in your in your blocks to for ease of understanding because if someone can understand this one very fast, but now this one is a bit a little bit difficult to understand. That's how you use a lookup table because we are going to use it in our in, in our video series of making electric vehicles. Thank you. Stay tuned for more.